Now, every vampire needs her fangs. And black lipstick, too. <laughs> now let's play. Wow, it's not even safe for vampires. Oops. I think someone owes her an apology. Or a makeover, even better. Some clay. A few new eyes. And a new mouth. Ooh, she's like a whole new ghoul. She looks bad. The good kind. Is someone there? Ooh, it's a crab. And he looks ready for a race. One crab races aren't very exciting. So why don't we make him a friend? Add a crabby face to this paper cup. Now tape a rubber band to two bottle caps. Hook it on the cup and twist it around. Now he's got a need for speed. And he's not the only one. Oh, a bubble toy. And it's got fans. Wow, quality and quantity. Look, there's bubbles in bubbles. Infinite bubbles are fine, but maybe there's a way we can top that. Take a sock and add rainbow colors. Add bubble solution and get glowing. These bubbles aren't just rainbow colored. They can even make a rainbow shape. Uh, sorta. Wow. Now, look who's crawling back. It's a caterpillar. He can use some eyes. I wonder if he's part zebra. Anyway, let's get squirming. Come on, shake that tail. Oh, moving so fast, I'm seeing gray. But here's an idea. Roll up a pop tube. And add a familiar looking shell. Once again, eyes are preferred. Now let's go. What'd you expect? He's a snail. Ooh, a little sonic squishy. Hey, he uses that to walk. I think she's got big plans for him. And I mean big. He's like a balloon. Who knew he was so squishy? Think he'd make a good waterbed? Careful, you might spring a leak. <laughs> Told ya. For our next trick, blow up some balloons. Now let's start twisting and bending them up. Go on, put those years of clown school to use. Add a tongue, and it's a frog. Who knew frogs came with confetti? Aw, he makes every day a parade. Ew, we need to move that outhouse. But in the meantime, let's get squishing. Oh, water beads. Let's take a closer look. Hey, there's something else inside. It's a dragon, a baby nightlight. And you know, with the right cuts, you can make a sponge into any shape you want. Let's draw a face while we're at it. 
and some water will help him grow big and strong. <laughs> oh, a toy ice cream shop! Make some big scoops of Play-Doh. Now let's add some whipped topping. Just give it a good squeeze. It's as pretty as the canned stuff. Oh, caramel sauce! Pour it on. And who can say no to sprinkles? Of course, you can't eat it. But at least it won't melt. Still, what's ice cream without a cone? Just draw down some diagonal lines. Wrap it up into a cone-like shape. Blow up some nanotape with glitter. And we've got our own 31 flavors. Of course, with this type of cone, spilling it is the fun part. Dolly's working so hard in school. She deserves some rest and relaxation. A coffin so comfy, you'll stay forever. <laughs> but if you don't have the latest casket, hmm? just tie up some old toothbrushes. And a wrap makes it a tent. Now let's fill it up with pillows. And we can't forget the guest of honor. Ooh, a hairstyling paper doll. Let's start with a quick trim. And now it's crimping time. Forget a few accessories. Now strike a pose. If you want to make your own, run yarn through a salt shaker cap. Now we should probably put a face on it. It's styling time! This tiny scrunchie can be a headband. Best part, if you cut off too much, it's an easy fix. Just pull out more. Ooh, mushrooms! Oh, and even better, air pencils! They already look great. But wait till we add some heat. It starts bubbling up all over. These doodles are turning three-dimensional. Ooh, and they look so fluffy. Let's take a look at it all together. Never thought bright and fuzzy was her style. Here's an idea. Grab some old pool noodles and shave it into a giant crayon. Just gotta add the wrapper. And you can even write with it? Well, as long as you add some paint. Now you can whip up some giant drawings. You can even make not so little dots. How about we see it in full? Oh, guess she likes abstract art.
These pimples need a good popping. And maybe a dusting. Note to self, next time wear goggles or a face shield. Of course, the real poppin' fun's inside the box. Is that yarn? How did you get yarn stuck in your pore? You skipped breakfast again, didn't you? This looks like a big job. Please don't put it in your mouth. Well, that's mildly better. Let's beat her at her own game with our own poppin' fun. Take some goop, like paint or slime. And add it inside this bubble wrap. Add some paint for redness and maybe a whitehead. You'll finally be happy to get a whole bunch of zits. Especially since they're not on your face. Well, kind of depends on your aiming. Ooh, a burger toy! So cute, you almost want to eat it! Also comes in beverage form. And, oh, wait, that's real. I said it's real! Well, I guess you can still eat it. But we don't need something special to squeeze. This sponge is great for squishing. Eh, cleaning too. But sponges can still be cute. Just add a few touches. Can't go wrong with googly eyes. This little piggy's in for a fun time. Why not make a whole porcine family? You don't get much happier than a mouse in cheese. And this mouse is ready for trick-or-treating. Well, a little more trick than treating. Hey, you never know when you'll fall into a good idea. Take a glove and a cup. And make that an empty cup. Wrap the glove around the rim from the inside out. Add a straw and you can blow up a big surprise. Like a big blue bunny. Oh, peanuts. Wait, this peanut's kind of sus. Oh, it's a fidget toy with a surprise inside. Maybe we can make our own. Waste not, want not. Just draw a face on a balloon. Let a little air out. Give it a twin and maybe a paper shell. All that's left is to give it a good squeeze. A stress ball? It squeezes so hard, it changes color. Hey, where did she get those scissors? Ooh, foamy! Which to her is just more ammo. Hey, be nice! Maybe she can whip something up with her chemistry set. This gel-filled glove's just perfect for milking practice. Oh, so that's where she keeps getting toys from. You go, Speed Racer! Maybe move around the fishbowl. Better yet, let's ditch the fish and burn some rubber. It just keeps going and going. Yeah, that's enough of that. Just remember to watch where you're going. Don't worry, we can make our own set of wheels. Just tape two bottle caps together with a rubber band. Add to the rim of a paper cup. Now go for a spin. Flip the cup over and decorate it. Look, we've made a bunny. And it's hopping down the bunny trail. Watch as this happy octopus goes to sad octopus. And now he becomes a charming hat. Now be the octopus. Is anyone else here in the mood for calamari? Ew. You should probably wash those hands. Ew. Always oh, a fun no. story when you run into an X. Fold it up, add some arms, and it's a baby octopus. And just look at that smile. 
What a happy octopus. When you flip it over, it's got an even bigger smile. But big or small, it's still a great hat. Next up is our tiny printer. All we need now is something to print. Print something out with the push of a button. You know, her lipstick's the perfect shade for monochrome. Now we just need a juice box. Add some cardboard. Take out some colored pencils and place them through the holes. Wrap some paper around it. Run a photo through it. Well, would you look at that? Careful, it might stay that way. Mm, green noodles. Wait, I think there's something inside. Silly Lego doll, noodles aren't clothes. Let's fix you up. Ah, that's much more stylish. Let's add some hair and eyes while we're at it. Oh, she doesn't look too happy. Hmm, everything looks good in black. Don't get jealous, get busy. Let's make our own doll. Just run a marker over a cup. Add different designs. Place another cup with a dress shape on top. Add a face on top and draw the rest of the body. Just switch the cup and the princess has a new look. A sea of stars, rainbow, or simply pretty in pink. Hmm. She looks like she's up to something. But what else is new? Wow, it's a running spinner. Well, let's spin it. Watch closely and soon it practically comes to life. Hmm, how can we make our own version? Another box drink to the rescue. Slice it up. Now take out a paper clip and bend it into shape. Place it inside slits on the box. Add a paper doll. Spin it around and we're off and running. Oh, hi, Blue. Look at all these pop tubes. And look at how far they stretch. That's just the start. Bend them, connect them, even stick them in a drink and have a sip. Kind of brings new meaning to crazy straw. But maybe we can have fun with all these straws too. Take some scissors and cut them up. They might be small, but they're plenty stretchy. And they're just as much fun to bend. Bend them into circles and you've got a chain. Wow. A long enough chain becomes a necklace. Or better yet, a tiara. Oh, what a cute little doll. She needs a wash. You sure she's not dry clean only? Well, her hair's starting to look a lot more rosy. Hmm, maybe your doll can use a new look too. Let's start things off by taking the tip off the marker. While we're at it, take out the insides and squeeze out the ink. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's add some water. Fill it up and take out your doll. Just tell her to relax and let her hair soak. And soon, she'll rock a brand new do. Give her face a good wipe. Maybe a new wardrobe. In the end, sometimes it's best to think pink. 
Digit, amazing stuff. Catch you next time.